Hi everyone, this is Imam. I was thinking about uh, the state of the Zinc driver, which is a uh, new OpenGL driver based on Vulkan. Um, you can use this driver if you are using uh, open source drivers, uh, Mesa drivers for AMD. It can be used for both AMD or Intel. Um, since it's based on Vulkan, uh, open source uh, Mesa Vulkan stack. So let's see how it works. I was thinking whether it's gonna outperform the traditional Mesa OpenGL driver uh, for at least um, older games, like uh, like we're talking about old games without any shaders and you know, really simple games uh, from the old days. So if we can if it can make it work better for the solar game, it would be, I think, it would be an advantage for a lot of people. Uh, let's see how it works. Um, so I'm gonna today try out a few games, uh, relatively old games, to see how this zinc um, compares to the standard OpenGL driver. So I have got an AMD graphics card. And this is quite old graphics card which has uh, Vulkan support. So I'm gonna first run this game called Caster. Let's see. First, uh, we activate the uh, FPS, William Hard, and then I think that's it. And then we have to. Where is it? Uh, we have to use B blank mode zero to so, so that we get the maximum frame rate. So it's not capped to the monitor refresh rate. Let's try out this game. So we're carrying. Um, so it's all setting high load game. It's working fine. The game. So we're getting about. 70 FPS with the standard OpenGL driver, um, traditional standard uh, Gallium OpenGL driver. About 70 FPS for this particular game. Now we're gonna try out Zinc, how it performs. Zinc or uh, Vulkan based OpenGL driver. So, to activate zinc, we have to use the environment variable. Where is that? Uh, first, we have to make sure the uh, we have to identify whether the game is a 32-bit game or 64-bit because we're gonna activate that particular version of Open uh, Vulkan for this zinc to work. So. I suppose because this is a quite old game, it's just 32 bit game. So we just have to use 32 bit Vulkan. So we're gonna use. Uh, so this environment variable just activates 32 bit Vulkan. And we're gonna use um, this environment variable to tell Mesa that we wanna use a Zinc uh, driver instead of a standard. And that's it. Now we run the game again. Um, it's running on zinc. Let's see if it. Okay. Uh, the zinc driver. We're getting lower FPS. On top of that, there are some bugs in the driver some glitches so we're getting about 40 45 fps which is quite low we got it so uh, the zinc driver performing about 60 percent 50 percent to 60 percent of what the standard driver is capable of with the standard driver we got 70 fps roughly now we're getting 45 okay, let's try out a different, different game maybe the, no. Well, this game is bad. Let's try out uh, Got Tom Rider, uh, which is gonna use open. First, try the standard OpenGL driver. Gonna use Open Larva. 
think I get full screen. Well, I think we have to yeah, leave blank there so that it's not capped to 60. Okay, we're getting about 200 uh, F 190 FPS uh, with the standard OpenGL driver for this game. Um, this OpenGL game. Let's see how the zinc, uh, the, how, it, how the zinc completes. Uh, how well. So we have activated the zinc by these two environment variables. Let's make it full screen. So now we're getting about 140 FPS, which is roughly 40 to 50 FPS less than the standard OpenGL driver. So zinc is not quite there yet in terms of performance, but in terms of the functionality is getting there. I mean, we saw the other gang, there were, there were some glitch and glitches in the game. Okay, let's try our different game. Uh, how about we try, uh, okay, let's see, what else I've got. I've got Edgecraft, okay, this is also a fun little game. Activate the uh, Gallium Hard and then we have to use this so that we don't scrap. Okay, let's go championship, continue. So we're getting about 300 FPS for this game. 300, uh, Something around 300, which is quite high for this game. Of course, it is quite old game. Now see how the um, zinc driver compares to this. So we have to we have to use this and run also this environment variable and then also the zinc, and that's it. I can see the FPS is low. We're getting only 30 FPS with Zinc driver, which is quite low. <laughs> it's like uh, uh, 10 times low. 10 times uh, a fraction of what the standard driver is capable of. It's playable, the game is, but FPS is quite low with the Zinc. Uh, so it has a long way to go in terms of the catching up with the standard driver. Uh, let's try another game. How about ballistics? Uh, this is quite funny little game. Let's just, uh, okay. uh, 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 uh. Not sure what's ballistics dynamics. I think that's the one. We're getting above 400 FPS with this game, with the standard driver. Uh, now we're getting 300 FPS, which is quite high. With this, uh, it can go down quickly. 30 FPS. We're getting only 30 FPS now. When you start to move, uh, you're getting only gains. So it's fluctuating. In some areas it goes 30 FPS and in some areas it bumps to 300. Okay. That's the situation with this game. Okay, let's try now Zinc Driver. Okay, we have to... That's it. Uh, Uh, 
Okay, he's not even running with Zinc Driver. Let's try again another time. Oh, it's crashing. So, I guess um, I can't run this game with Zinc Driver. Is there anything wrong? I need to Everything is fine. Okay. Let's try another game maybe. Uh, is there any other game I have to try? I think we got an idea about this driver. I was hoping that this driver will outperform so, um, uh, for s at least old games, OpenGL games, but it didn't. So that's about it. Hopefully, some someday it will. Thank you, guys. See you next time.